Hey everybody, it's Haley. I know it's been a really long time since I posted a video and I am so sorry. I have just been super busy, honestly. My mom owns a children's theater and so I've been helping her and teaching and doing a lot of things. But today, I had to make a video for Mother's Day because it's just so special and I love my mommy so much. She's always helped me and supported me on my baking journey. And today we are going to make a floral bouquet. We are using Russian piping tips because I have so many Russian piping tips. Like I, I'm just gonna take a video of them because it's a crazy amount. And I thought what better gift for Mother's Day than instead of a real bouquet, a cupcake bouquet. So the cool thing is with these tips, they're very intricate. So you can actually make each individual cupcake look like a little, a little bouquet of flowers. I've been seeing these a lot. I really wanted to try them. So let's get started. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make your cupcakes, which I have back here, because you want those to be completely cooled down. No runny frosting melting on those cupcakes. Then make the frosting. So I'm whipping up my butter a lot. Okie dokie. Once you've whipped the butter enough and it's like a very light texture, then we're gonna add some powdered sugar. I'm gonna put the recipe for this frosting in the description box. By the way, I've pre-sifted this powdered sugar because you don't wanna add your powdered sugar when it's all clumpy lumpy because then you're, it won't go through the piping tip if it's clumpy. So this is a really big deal. Sift your powdered sugar, please. Thank you. I'm just gonna be up here till midnight. It's already like, you guys, it's already 11.30 at night. So we're gonna see how late I stay up. Okay, I've mixed in all the powdered sugar. Now I'm gonna add some vanilla extract and just a little bit of heavy whipping cream or milk. You don't wanna do too much because we don't want this too runny. It won't hold its shape right, but you do want it to be able to pipe easily through the piping tip. Now I'm gonna dye my frosting. I've got these little deli cups here. I'm gonna dye some of it pink, some of it blue, and some of it yellow. Blue is my mom's favorite color, so I have to do blue. It's actually my favorite color too. And you're also going to want some green frosting. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It is storming and crazy outside. Okay, cupcakes. So I've picked some that I want to start with by trying these because they're just really cool. Also, there's a snowflake one, like what in the world? Honestly guys, I don't want you to be intimidated by this. The thing that these Russian piping tips do is just make your life so much easier because you can pipe really intricate flowers like just in one go. So they should be very simple to use. My main problem is just going to be where do I start because there's so many. Got a cupcake here. So I've got this very large piping bag here and I'm using this super large tip to attach the Russian piping tip instead of just putting it directly into the bag that way I can switch them off. So a lot of times when you're using these, you want to do two colors, so you have a little color in the middle. So what I'm doing is I've got a piece of plastic wrap here, and I'm going to spread my frosting on it. This is a hack for putting your frosting into the piping bag. Yee, yay, pink. And then next to it, or on top of it, I'm going to spread some yellow. And I'm going to roll this up. So roll the plastic wrap up. I'm gonna do this to twist this ends together. <laughs> I'm gonna cut off the tip of this, just one side, and I'm gonna put it in the piping bag and it makes it a lot easier. Um. Okay, let's see. Might take a little bit at first because it's the first one. Uh oh. Okay, don't worry. Don't worry, people. That's kind of pretty. Oh, yeah. Pretty, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's very strong, so I have to hold the cupcake and then pull away. 
And then you're gonna fill in with some green after you do this. Oh my gosh, what was that? Did a tree fall over? Ooh, that's so pretty, so right? Yeah, that's amazing. It's gorgeous. Wow. All right. Mine is pretty blended. If you put the pink like all around and then put the yellow right in the middle of the pink, um, it might look a little more normal. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I'll do that with the next one. That I'm the most excited about. So we'll see how it turns out. Oh, very pretty. I know it. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that one. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm piping it at an angle and you want to pipe it just straight on. That looks better. Look at that. <laughs> These are very delicate flowers. They yeah, actually tall. That would take you tall. What you do is you take a little leaf tip like this. I will, I'll put the number of this tip on the screen. And you get some green, and then you fill in the spaces with that. Take these little leaves, you could do like a vines, or just, it looks so pretty with the leaves. Mm -hmm. It really completes it. I think so too. I think I would make my green a little less um, tropical, but you know, I think I'm gonna like it. Mm -hmm. Not the pastel -y vibe, but it's very tropical. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Mother's Day dessert. Comment below what you love about your mom. Let's make this the most positive video for moms ever. Just, just say what you love about your mom. Happy Mother's Day to every mom out there. I know it's not easy and we really appreciate you. And also don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you next time, bye. Your mind is blown. I haven't even started yet. Time, 12.45. Mission, almost impossible. To frost all these cupcakes in 15 minutes. 15 minutes? That's impossible. Oh. Impossible.
And ta-da! The flower cupcakes are all finished and I could not be happier with how they turned out. I could still get a little better because this was my first time, but they look gorgeous. 